Praise be Jesus and Mary. Today, we commemorate a significant day in Philippine history, Ninoy Aquino Day. This day marks the 41st anniversary of the assassination of Senator Benigno Ninoy Aquino Jr., a man whose life and death sparked a revolution that changed the course of our nation. Ninoy Aquino was born on November 27, 1932 in Concepcion, Tarla. He was a brilliant student, a journalism, and a politician. At a young age, he became the mayor of Concepcion and later the youngest governor of Tarla. But his real impact came as a senator, where he became a staunch critic of a Marcos regime. In 1972, President Ferdinand Marcos declared martial law and Nino Aquino was one of the first to be arrested. Despite the dangers, he continued to speak out against the dictatorship. In 1980, after years of imprisonment, Nino was allowed to go to the United States for heart surgery. He spent the next few years in exile, but his heart never left the Philippines. On August 21, 1983, after three years in exile, Nino decided to return to the Philippines despite warnings of danger. His famous words, the Filipino is worth dying for, echoed his deep commitment to his country. Unfortunately, as he stepped off the plane at Manila International Airport, he was assassinated. His death shocked the nation and ignited the flames of the People Power Revolution. Nino Aquino's death was not in vain. It united Filipinos from all walks of life to stand up against tyranny. His sacrifice inspired the People Power Revolution in 1986, which peacefully ended the dictatorship and restored democracy in the Philippines. Today, Nino Aquino Day is not just a time to remember a fallen hero, but also a day to reflect on the values of courage, justice, and love for our country. As we honor Nino Aquino today, let us remember that freedom and democracy are not free. They are hard won by those who dared to dream and fought for a better Philippines. It is our duty to continue their legacy and keep the spirit of Ninoy alive in our hearts and actions.